Welcome to Coffee Talk. <laughs>
rappers, talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Friends only. Close friends only. For dating. Uh, it's like Tomodachi, friend in Japanese plus chill. Nice. Georgie. Dude first, birthday friends only, close friends. I don't know anything about him, basically. Oh, aren't you a handsome fella? Okay. Set September 13, friends only. Or maybe those are exclamation marks. I thought they were L's. <laughs> it's fine. Cafe and booze dominated by milk, cappuccino, Italian delight. Oh, crap. I'm one of those people that just hates notif uh, notif signs and I have to, like, get rid of it or it just won't bug me. So I do apologize for that. I, I thought they were else too, it's okay. What are we calming darkness? I love the vibe. And I've hear I've heard nothing but good things about it too. Espresso. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter, more bitter than hell itself. <laughs> but who's, who, who's writing these descriptions? Is it me? Green tea and latte, both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. <laughs> Hope's gonna get up from her nap and be like, what the heck is this? <laughs> okay. Hey, the quirk, how's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We got a slight problem, though. Huh? Oh, whoa! Ah! <laughs> what happened? My spire made some logistical errors. Wow, I'm very specific with things, aren't I? I don't have half my ingredients today. Oh no! Actually, hold that thought. I'll be right back, guys. <sighs> Sorry. Had to get my dinner. Even though I'm literally snacking and stuff, but hey. <laughs> I haven't had, like, regular food, like, all day, so... <clears throat> Man, that's a bummer. Don't, don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. It's good to hear. Hey, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. <laughs> so I'm used to taking things slow. Hey, writer's block, block again. Not that right. What are you writing now? Here are my plan to... Wait, am I supposed to be making you something, or is it... Ah, oh, shoot. Did it say what she wanted? I don't... Yeah, it's supposed to be L's. So yeah, it says Tom Tomato Chill. Uh, I don't even know how to... I don't even know how to make this stuff. I guess it will tell me. Oh, okay, that's... Alright, I guess I'll just keep talking to you then. <laughs> ah, pardon interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. If you're gonna make it, just check your phone, okay? I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh, God. Uh... Coffee. Uh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um. Just. Nope. No, I didn't mean to do that. Crash it. <laughs> Let me start over. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. No, wait. No. Stop doing that. So confused. 
Uh. No. Goodness. Thank you. So warm. 
So you're waiting for your boyfriend. Yes, he should be here soon. Okay, hold on, I got a thingy. Why, why did I have a, why did I have something there like I did something, but, well, never mind. Okay, you should be here soon. Look at you now, you, you went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. It's the only coffee shop that's still open, but it's mostly empty. Now you mention it. For business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. <laughs> yep, what she said. And why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. It's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Jeez. <laughs> okay. Thanks, game. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's a secret. Because this isn't real life, this is the game I'm playing. I wish. <laughs> the quirk here is damn rich, that's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, the quirk can manage. Why do you keep speaking for me? <laughs> I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. Hey, that's good to hear. Why are you regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. A writer works best at night in, in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. I some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Well, you were, you were talking about me, man. I'm getting back at you. <laughs> Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> what kind of things do you cover? I have stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. Let's contribute to their source, short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. And are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but instead I'm just talking about life and <laughs> to the barista. I don't know what to write about. Oh, hi there. Okay. Sorry, eating. Okay. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. Nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Okay. Alright, uh... Hey, coffee's bitter. Right? Uh... Uh, coffee and then milk? Here's your order. No art, huh? That's a bummer. It, it, it said latte art on it. It tastes good, though. Select when it said latte art to draw it. See, I thought I selected it and it was just on top of it, but yeah, I guess so. Well, I didn't die or anything, so that's good. <laughs> Okay, 
Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. No, you haven't. I'm Baileys. <laughs> are you in my little thingy? Ooh, freelance designer. Why are you black and white? I guess because I'm not like your friend yet, I guess. Alright. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lou. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Luke Work. Uh, how, how, did you know that Freya here has arrived for evening whispers? Oh, really? Really? Oh, fancy. Pretty lady. Too bad you're not single because he's like right there, <laughs> but then I can't really. Do oh. Different language. October 2nd. This kind of reminds me of like Instagram or something, which is probably the point. It's worked for them a few times. Oh, it kind of worked. As designer and illustrator, I've done some character. <laughs> I like how they're just talking and it's probably literally like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> let's add this to our uh, <laughs> Instagram. Just be like, oh. Got some characters and infographic paper. So you're in contact with Steve. Oh, Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Why do I feel like Freya is like hitting on me constantly? Is, there, is it her eyes or something? Then again, if she is, that's perfectly fine. This game was one of the uh, very popular uh, indie games anyway for the vibe and everything and design plot, but also LGB, LGBTQA plus community. So yeah, you can romance same sex, you can be, you know, anybody, date anybody, which is pretty cool. Alright. Oh, the music changed. <laughs> no, he isn't. But I dealt with worse clients. <laughs> Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Bailey's, ah, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Yeah, oh, of course. How deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. Damn right. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> the only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. Lost drunks, too. They're not just drunk, they're lost drunks. Oh my god. Okay. That sounds really bad. <laughs> nah, they're easy to handle. Oh, nice. I'm like a fighter, huh? Sweet. Man, that's because you're good with your fist. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Hey, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is I'm gonna write, <laughs> so I'll leave you to in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where, where are you gonna write? Oh, not far. Just over at the water. <laughs> are you are you guys just gonna kind of watch her write? <laughs> I do know that's an interesting thing. I read something about this the other day. You know the old joke where it's like, oh, people go to coffee shops and they get out their laptops work on their latest novel and they're actually not really writing anything they're just it just looks cool it looks productive um uh there actually is a thing to that uh, uh it was something about like oh starbucks employees can't do certain things because of customers and one of them was basically hey you know <laughs> Even if there are people, a bunch of people, like, not, not even drinking coffee or even ordering it or anything, but they have a laptop there, you can't kick them out. You just can't. Because, for one, uh, you want you want the coffee place, you want Starbucks to be welcoming to, you know, everybody, anybody, you know, kind of like a safe space, I guess. But also, too, you know, it's just... You know, that kind of thing. But I was like, oh man, I bet that is so annoying. You know? <laughs> Hold on, I'm just kind of grinning. 
raisin on my dinner here. Sorry. Gotta get this music on Spotify, man. I love it. I love chill things like this. Anyway. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a fun thing. I mean, I mean, it's rewarding and stuff, but it's it's not exactly. Oh, I'm gonna just write. You know, it's not really a playing activity, but you know, Bailey's. Good luck. Thanks. And she just poofs into this. Oh, I like how her phone's got little. Uh, <laughs> you see that? Like little claws or little ears on it. Bailey, should we move to other seats too? Nah, uh, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It's fine, work was nothing special. Finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. Now your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well he is, but today he was happier than usual. Not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. How about you? Probably if your latest client. Yeah, that one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict <laughs> terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> At least my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should have something quirkier about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, why do both their... Uh, it must be... It must be everybody, because Freya had that too. And this girl and this guy have those kind of bedroom, like, smolder eyes, where it's like they're flirting with you. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm all, I mean, I don't mind it, but it's just kind of, <laughs> it kind of weirded me out a little when he looked right at me, like he could see into my soul, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> what you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers and other customers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh, your phones. Your parents. Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. Didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. He's not a real elf. Come on. Or well, maybe he is. I don't know. I don't know what kind of world we're in. That's what they said. Maybe maybe they're not cosplaying. Maybe, maybe they really are elves. And... Okay. More or less the same. Because when I saw that, I was thinking like, oh, well, you know, they're, they're reading a novel or something. And then I was like, oh, maybe these are actual, <laughs> like, <laughs> so I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. You're your family. You can't stay one, one second part of them. I mean, I can't, I can't stand being with them. They're, I might not have a family, but I can manage. But still what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What do they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Oh, the, the, okay, these are literal, okay, I, I apologize, okay. They're not, they're not cosplayers, they really are that, okay. Or not that, but, you know, forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumba how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already, that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. Wow, okay. So this is it then. Oh, jeez. Okay, no, I don't want to be here for this. This is sad. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. I can just 
just continue like this? What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. I mean, they don't need to. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. I get to spend my life with you. I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. <sighs> Making it's hard for both of us. Do you, do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Yeah! I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Wait! Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. <laughs> Me. Da, 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 that's alright. This kind of has seen all kinds of stories. We've seen everything. Oh my god. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Eh, I hope so too. <laughs> Lordy eyes. <laughs> do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. Ah, damn it. <laughs> that's a bummer. I could have made up for that that one drink. Do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Tea lattes. I'll take one. Okay, let's see. shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. I mean, you, you messed up two of my drink orders. All people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. Damn straight you can't. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man says. Well, your old man's an idiot. <laughs> he really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn. <laughs> At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Wow, that sounds like. <laughs> or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. I'll probably drink myself under until the sun rises. It's still a while till sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do thank you. Do visit again. Sorry, but <laughs> you're listening from the core. Yes, poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. Get up earlier than tomorrow. Okay, I think we're gonna close the shop up after this. It's pretty early, I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Sweet spicy chai from the town of Eden, Yemen. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries at this street. Distrib distribution problems harm local restaurants. I cannot read the other thing, but I'll just start the day. Or night. Whatever. Oh, hey! Alright, let me check some stuff. Okay. Right. 
Birthday, I'll get a free list sign right. Number one pumpkin spice fan. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, she does she does have horns. with you. Can't you just... <laughs> yeah, that is true. She did kind of like slam in there, didn't she? Can't you just send her like a normal customer? I'm sorry. I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop to the people who come here. For real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. <laughs> That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration for this place. The artists themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Uh, it's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. And watch me mess up more coffee. Oh, hey. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like your eyes spirits leaving, Miss Freya. Yeah, please, look for No need to be that formal with me, damn it. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hits the formalities. We're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So I'll need the usual. Right. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Look, we're coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. I'm lactose intolerant. Probably. Thanks to your tum uh, profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. I mean, I didn't see it, but okay. <laughs> Let me look. That doesn't tell me anything. Freya, you... <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, so coffee, and then we got... Got honey. Oh, not milk. <laughs> we can't do that. Um, what am I supposed to use, though? I don't. My head's in the way. I can't. very bad, but I can't, I can't read it. Does it, does it say like honey coffee or something? Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Oh, okay. That, okay, I did that right then, I think. Not everyone can manage a combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Maybe I have a service like you gave the old pop here. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Star 
nubus night sky for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a... Oh, maybe that, that's what she is. She's a fairy, like the others were elves. And I feel like he's something, too. I just can't think of the word. I can't... I, I, I don't know. I'm not even sure whether the... Wait, hold on. Alright, uh... My self-summary. Journalist Shorts... You can read my surreal, weird story... Weird short stories at the Evening Whispers. I idolize and aspire to be someone like, uh, Naman or Maruki Harakami. What about you, sir? My self summer. Oh, okay, now I see it. Born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Ooh, I can change music. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Road trip. And if a double-decker bus crashes in us, die by your side such a heavenly... Oh, she... Oh, she wrote it, okay. To, to die by your side... Pleasure, the privilege is mine. Oh god, okay, hold on. Morrissey's old speaker, everyone in the car was singing along, and by everyone, I was talking about me and her. That's a song by the Smiths! Oh, is it? Okay. There are only two of us, two of us, and almost empty out. Do you consider dying by my side to be a heavenly way to die? She asked after the song finished, breaking the noisy sounds of the car. That depends, I answered. Depends on what? On how we die. I'm sure having a mass psychopath slowly mutilating us while we're holding hands won't be a pleasant experience. What kind of device would you consider heavenly way to die next to me? Oh, that's hard. I'm pretty sure I, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard something that's not too painful though. So us dying of old age together would be your heavenly way for us to die. Hey, hold on. We just started officially dating yesterday. Don't plan to party. Ah, what was that for? Me? <laughs> I was just joking. Besides, I'm gonna think of a heavenly way to live with you right now. Found the answers to that. Look at me, then close your eyes. What do? Just do it. She closed her eyes, leaned over, kicked it. For a moment, feeling like 100 years, we kissed. The speedometer was pointing to 100 kill, and the highway is almost empty. Almost. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's quite a. <laughs> that's quite. I mean, I liked it, but it was just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going paper, Miss Rhea? As usual, awful. <laughs> She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. Not a deal. A, po a possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. <laughs> a deal she regretted. <laughs> I'm really just capitalizing on her misery, aren't I? <laughs> Not that much. Oh, seriously. Care to share details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her work hours or do something else. Something like writing her own novel. <laughs> you got balls, I can tell you that. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Gee, thank you. <laughs> How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. No worries, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. <laughs> her life will be pretty hard. She messed this thing up, though. I'm just gonna rub it in, aren't I? <laughs> thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as the quirk said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But I was gonna be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. <laughs> Wait, is stealing time a crime? Tell you I might have to arrest you. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they take longer than they meant. I DM'd you the song link. <laughs> okay, I'll look at that after I finish the stream. <laughs> they might take that are meant to. But still, coffee breaks. Make me feel worse by saying that. You you should you should feel bad. So bad <laughs> so bad insult to the wound, okay. It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm sure whether this make you feel better or not. 
if your Riker goes up in flames, the police... Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a total uh, good trade-off, isn't it? Police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. There's no mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure we'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? How much on the stories people tell inside? Da -da. You're letting her do that? <laughs> I can't really stop her. Yeah, there's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't worry about any shady looking police and they love to take breaks more than they should inside a coffee shop here in post. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely right with that police officer. He had a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? We're just probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> well, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. Well, if you're gonna do that, you better make their names very different because there have se I've seen so many things where their names are like too close. And then it's like, seriously? That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, is someone stationed here? I assume you've heard a lot of stories of people around here though, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. Tell me what's one of the stories I wrote for the paper. And what about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block? <laughs> Try and give me other interesting tips. I've helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on! What story is you talking about? You asked information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hear about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. It's not quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. Never complained that you used this story for the... Wait, he never complained that you used this story for the paper? I guess wasn't for giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, Rose has become some kind of a prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any odd tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Hey, this girl's been coming to the coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. It's gonna be out her, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yep, I knew it. But she has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? I mean, wow, that went neat fast. That's sort of my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sun mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, I'm a freaking cop. Come on now. I know all about stress. You're great for your short stories. By the way, why, why this coffee shop? Because I spent a lot of time here, I guess. And there was a couple that visited a coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them? It happens to a lot of people. I've been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss, excuse me. Are they regulars here? Nope. They've visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken. She was with her co workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the standard, I think. You gave, people, you gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Oh, okay, well, never mind, I don't know. Some folks requ re request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Good for you. Anyway, look at the tie. It's time for my shift. Oh, yeah, go on do your job, old man. <laughs> don't forget to share the interesting year with me. Let's not make this habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Ah, Freya, you're a stitch. That's all I can say. Who's the other victim? Oh, I think I need to get back to my writing. <laughs> no, no offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. Well, you're talking to me, mostly, so... 
So I'll, I'll move to my usual usual corner. Look at the writing. Don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best, Lickwork. You're welcome. Okay, off the road of imagination I go. Go on. I poof into existence. I mean, out of existence. Should do for an experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, 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 hello? <laughs> I don't know who I expected, but it wasn't these guys. Okay. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Or Gala. I look at work. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. I mean, we're already sitting here, but okay. This is the place you recommended. You don't like it? I don't know. It's fine. I know it's not like coffee shops you're used to in LA. But... Gala? It's fine. Uh... <laughs> what are you- are you guys a couple? Hey! How to ya? It's just... I don't- I don't know- I don't know how to read this one on the left. I don't know what his deal is. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You- You first. Okay. Anything but coffee and ginger, please. Okay. Coffee. Ginger and then milk, I guess. I can't read it. That looks gross, but okay. You're always ready, sir. Thank you. Oh, okay, good. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. <laughs> I'll have whatever he's having. Okay, that's easy enough. Alright. Oops. Here's your order. This sucks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see. It's adding the okay. Warm it in ginger latte. Okay, and then wait. I had another thing. Where is it? Okay, there we go. <clears throat> anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Oh, sorry. Hyde. My name is Hyde. Well, God, you're from L.A., right? Oh, yeah, I used to live here decades ago, though. I bet he literally means decades, too. I mean, nothing wrong with that, it's just, I'm just saying. Ah, supermodel. Hey, his birthday is just the day before mine, February 8th. V oh, okay. Vegan vampire. Alrighty, professional model. CP, whatever CP means. Alyssa. Okay. Alright, interesting. Never heard of a vegan vampire before. Me neither. Bring you back to Seattle. Oh, sorry. I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two and another. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You can say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? Oh, I'm married. Okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, it was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. <laughs> not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, 
Peace trade between werewolves and vampires. I, I was wondering, you look kind of werewolfish, sir. I mean, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. He just kind of reminds me of Hugh Jackman a little bit. <laughs> with his uh, face structure or something. Oh, if you guys are a couple, oh, forbidden of vampires and well, werewolves. Peace trade between werewolves and vampires was signed in. 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? I don't remember werewolves usually living that long, but... <laughs> no, I met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards. Oh, sorry. But not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I, I guess 20 years is a long time. This is the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I, I don't know why I'm here. What, what are y'all doing? You're happy the bar closed down? What's with a smile if you don't mind? Eh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. Go to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. News about that newfound virus going viral. Ooh, this was in 2020, right? I mean, I mean, in this game, in this game universe. You think that means a certain meta thing, or no? How old is this game anyway? <laughs> it's kind of surreal that it's talking about 2020 so casually and like recently. Probably the zombie virus. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hospital's been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. Most people who come in are just... I don't want to use that word, but they're just paranoid. Yeah, I did. You're right. You did read a paper and game that mentioned it. Yeah. Still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. Now for me a managerial position, but I declined for doing this. <sighs> Teach their own. Anyway, I was wondering. Do they still sell <laughs> do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? Legal blood? Okay. That's a twist. They do. Well, people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. True blood, yeah. <laughs> they just order through the... <laughs> they can just order through that blood marketplace app. <laughs> are you talking about... Are you, are you talking about blood la... Blood la I so thought he was going to say bloodlust because it just sounded so smooth on the tongue, but no. Uh, uh-huh. Bloodlust. Get their s supply from the hospital. It sounds like a rock band or something. They can't certify blood on their own. What? What do you mean certify? What? <laughs> what? Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. Use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? I do know the founder of that startup. Ah, oh, yeah. How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking. Am I going vegan? Do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. That's not a... Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what that would be. You don't mean that gross, like, costume blood. Because I've had to use that in my uh, Scarewind's job. It's gross, man. It, like, just sticks to you. And it's just... Yeah. But I guess it's obviously not that. It's just... I don't know anymore. 
<sighs> but basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering your blood has some cultural and health concerns. You know, it's kind of funny. I, I guess that makes sense because it's just like how, you know, when people go vegan, you know, their diet's very limited at first, but then more and more people think of ways to make things appear like, oh, this is like a real burger, where it's, you know, not, I guess. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. I, I don't know how I make my money, but I'm just, I'm a rich pretty boy, who knows? <laughs> but again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? Wait. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we're gonna go that route. I mean, why not? Uh, <laughs> why? You wanna start selling blood based drinks? It might attract new customers <laughs> and turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. No, this blood ain't... No, 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 it's gotta be fresh. It's gotta be raw. Just a little blood latte, yeah. Although, some do try experimenting with other things. Oh, God. Uh, other things? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh, jeez. And then he said mostly booze. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? <laughs> Talk about my vegan lifestyle might me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly... Fury? Oh! Okay, yeah, because he's a werewolf, so it's like... Oh! The, the, the moon's gonna be full, are you sure you can handle it? Found a less painful method to restrain yourself. Not yet. Is that why he's got all these band-aids on him? <laughs> but I do know that it's a drink. Kinda drink. Certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I've explored the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available in the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative, that sedative is too... I, I don't know what he said, I guess... Wait, hold on. I can check it. <laughs> too general. Okay. Sometimes the effect can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? You have to calm me down? That's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... <laughs> kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. Oh, their game. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what kind of kinky? Like, whoa. Uh... <laughs> okay, game, you're doing a little... Uh... How, how crazy is this going to get? Like, BDSM? <laughs> that only happens to <laughs> porn. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know. I mean, y you shouldn't. I mean, teach their own, but uh, it's kind of weird to talk about a coffee shop in front of people and the, like viewers aren't gonna see this. <laughs> well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I mean having. Sex as a calming method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Okay, so like, probably just kissing, maybe a hickey or something. Because if he's saying not all out sex, then you know, never mind. I, this is getting kind of weird. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Come to think of it, it would be pretty. T <laughs> if <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it it would be pretty brutal. I'm just imagining if Hope like fell asleep with the stream on, 
and she wakes up and she sees this and they'd be like what the heck happened while I was sleeping <laughs> does like my uh my my image art and stuff for my channel is uh i got two emotes they should be fun they're squirrels i love squirrels it's like my most relatable animal and plus apparently it's an aquarius thing <laughs> so many aquarius it's just something about them with squirrels i don't know it it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So I'm a little confused. Are you guys a couple or, or not? Because you could help me. Ch I mean, I'm just. I mean, I don't know. <sighs> are you guys just close friends? I don't know. I mean, you're not related. I know that. But so continue your first story. Maybe they are. Just, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. Well, I'm out of tea at the moment, so I can't help you guys there. Better write that down. You won't want to wreaking havoc, havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but next time you're visiting, I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for a drink. I have this before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take, take care of your way home. What are you done if you're riding for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer- Oh no! Oh no! I prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. Oh, thank god. Okay, it's not- <laughs> It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, th that video! <laughs> I, lo I, I love it. Oh my god. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. <laughs> well, that's rude. <laughs> it was a pretty interesting and productive night, but now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. She's been having triple shots.